Hey everyone, welcome back to the continuation of video 45. Okay, here we will be solving parts B and C. Okay, so here's the original problem again. We have a rescue plane. It wants to drop supplies to isolate the mountain climbers on a rocky ridge 253 meters below. The plane's traveling horizontally at 205 kilometers per hour. We have already converted that to meters per second in video number 45. So if you want to catch that or how to do that or parts A, uh, be sure to check that video out before proceeding to this one. Okay, in this video we're going to be doing part B and C. So B, suppose instead the plane releases supplies a horizontal distance of 452 meters in advance of the mountain climbers. What vertical velocity up or down should the supplies be given so that they arrive precisely at the climber's position? And then finally we're going to determine the speed with which the supplies land in that case. Now just as part A came with a diagram, part B also comes with a diagram. Okay, so for this one, You've got your plane, it's the same 253 meters that the supplies need to drop. Um, we're given the horizontal distance this time of 452 meters. We've got our people on the ridge. Now, what we don't know is whether the supplies need to go up or whether they need to be thrown down. But that's going to be determined by the answer we get for V, not Y. Okay, so if it's positive, it's going to be thrown upward. If it's negative, it's thrown downwards. Okay, which leads me to the next part. I need to state the positive direction again. In the previous video, number 45, we determined and stated positive to be up and to the right. We're going to do the same thing for this problem. Okay, so first things first, um, we have to be able to determine the time. We're looking for a vertical component of speed and time is not going to be given through that component. So we need to use our other component, which is x, to determine it. Okay, so we need to find the time it will take to travel 452 meters. Okay, remember we are already given the initial horizontal speed and we determined time from the previous video. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to say, you know what, x is equal to speed times time. Again, no acceleration in the x direction. Rearranging this expression for time, divide both sides by vx. You're going to get x over vx. Okay, so x is 452 meters. Your speed is 56.94 meters per second. And we end up with time to be 7.94 seconds. Yes, there we go. We've got the time. We now need to go and plug this into the y direction. So let's do that on the side here. Okay, so we are looking for the initial speed in the y direction. We know the initial height it starts at. We define that to be zero. We know the final y height. It's going to be minus 253. Acceleration in the y is negative 9.8 meters per second squared. And time we have. So we're going to use this expression, delta y equals the v naught y t plus one half acceleration y t squared. And remember, delta means change, so this is simply final y minus initial y. Okay. Now, because we're looking for v naught y, I'm going to bring this to the left side of the equation, bring the delta y to the right. So if I do that, you know what, actually, instead of doing that, why don't I bring this minus over to the left? This uh, 1 half AYT squared, make it a negative. That'll be a little easier. So we'll do that. V naught YT is equal to Y minus Y naught minus 1 half acceleration Y T squared. So remember, the initial Y height we're stating to be 0. So if this is 0, that disappears. Okay, and I want to get v y v not y by itself, so I'm going to divide both sides by t. So I'm going to get v not y equals y minus one half acceleration y t squared divided by t. So at this point, you know everything. You just have to plug in your numbers. So our y is negative 253 meters minus a half times negative 9.8 <coughs> pardon me, meters per second squared times our time 7.94 seconds that has to be squared divided by 
7.94 seconds. And when you calculate that out, so let's do that on the side. Okay, I'm going to do my 0 0.5, 9.8. The two negatives are going to cancel themselves out. Times 7.94 squared. And if you take negative 253, you have to add that to it. Divided by 7.94. So we get 7.04 meters per second. Now, because this is a positive velocity, that means the projectile is pr thrown up or projected up in the beginning. Okay, so the projectile is projected up, right, because we defined um, up to be positive. Okay, so there we go. There's our initial speed of the projectile. Um, so for part C, for part C it says, with what speed do the supplies land in the latter case? This is the initial speed it's projected at. We know it takes 7.94 seconds um, <coughs> to travel that distance, so we have to find the final speed after the 7.94 seconds. Also, Okay, so looking at the problem again, with what speed do the supplies land? Um, speed has both a horizontal and vertical component. The horizontal component is not going to change from the initial problem. It's still going to be uh, the 56.94 meters per second. We're going to use this time, this initial y speed. We have to find the final y speed. Okay, so that's what we're going to do for part C. Let me just label that B. So there we go, that's done. Um, For part C, the final speed is going to be down because it's falling towards the mountain climbers, which means the y component of the speed is going to be negative, the x component is positive. Those two meet at a nice 90 degree angle. So we've got our v here, we've got our vy, and we've got our vx. Again, the vx doesn't change, so that's simply going to be 56.94 meters per second we have to determine Vy. And we're going to do that by using the standard definition of acceleration. Okay, acceleration is defined as the change in velocity or a change in time. In this case, we're just going to use the speed since we're looking for a scalar quantity. Okay, delta means final minus initial, so we're going to do Vy minus V naught Y divided by time. You know, the V naught Y, we determined this in part B. It was 7.04 meters per second. Okay, so now we've got Ay equals Vy minus V0y over T. We're trying to isolate for Vy. Okay, so if we multiply the T across to the Ay and then we add V0y, we'll be in a good position there. So when you rearrange it, you get Vy equals Ayt plus V0y. Okay, so let's just start plugging in our values. Ay, negative 9.8 meters per second squared. The time is 7.94 seconds plus v naught y, which is 7.04 meters per second. Okay, so let's determine our vy there. Okay, so negative times a positive, you're going to get a negative number. 9.8 times 7.94. You get negative 77.812. Add to that 7.04 and you'll get negative 70.772 meters per second. This is not our final answer, so we can keep a couple decimal places there. Okay, um, now we need to incorporate this into our uh, long range idea here that we need to have the components. Okay, so we've got the Vy. Uh, recall. Vx is equal to 56.94 meters per second. So let's let's actually solve this over here. Um, because it's a right angle triangle, again, we're going to be using the idea behind Pythagorean theorem. So V is equal to the square root of Vx squared plus Vy squared. So let's plug in our values there. Uh, Vx, 56.94 meters per second squared plus 
negative 68.1 meters per second squared. And when you, uh, uh, that should actually be, pardon me, the VY should be 70.77277, there's a 2 there. When we square those two together, let's see what we're getting. 56.94 squared plus 70.772 squared. And we want to take the square root of that expression, and we're going to end up with 90.8 meters per second. So to answer part C, what is the speed with which the supplies land in part B? There's your answer. They land at 90.8 meters per second. Okay, so there it is. So that's it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, be sure to click that like button. And if you like these videos, subscribe to my channel, Physics in the Flesh, as I'll be posting every weekday at 12 noon. So be sure to be on my channel at that time to catch my latest video. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. I will talk to you later.